I know it's technically summer right now, um, but today we're making fall candles. So the reason I'm making fall candles today is, well, I do have fall scents that um, in my own line that I love a lot. I do feel like I could expand it a little bit more. So today I'm gonna be testing uh, six new scents. Um, and that way I can test them over the next month. And then in August, I can buy all my supplies because if you're a candle maker and you're wanting to do fall candles, don't wait until fall. Get, don't wait until August, get your stuff now. Um, so yeah. And even though today is, you know, it's hot outside, but inside we have the air going and it's actually pretty cold in here and it's gloomy outside and it's kind of, looks like it's gonna rain. So today inside feels like fall. So, you know, making fall candles just kind of feels like the right thing to do today. I will go over the scents um, that I'm making and like talk about what they smell like as I make them. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm wicking my jars. I'm just wicking my jars right now and I can't do two things at one time. So let me finish this and then we will get into the scents. Also, for those of you who don't know me, hi, my name is Jordan. I am the founder and creator of Chill Babe Candle Co. And if you have seen my face before, hello, welcome back. It's nice to have you. Um, yeah. Okay, just two more here. Also, okay, does anyone else have this problem where they just get so much wax on here and they're just too lazy to clean it? So now there's like, three different scents of wax built up on it. No, just me? Okay, cool. Okay, so the first scent I'm going to do is by the Flaming Candle, and it's called Pumpkin Pretzel Latte. Um, I, I definitely need a pumpkin scent because that's the one scent I was missing last fall, um, but I don't really like pumpkin scents and I really don't like spicy scents either. So like a pumpkin spice to me is like a nightmare to make. Um, so I'm on the lookout and I'm on the hunt for a spicy scent that I actually like. Um, and this one's actually not that bad. It smells like pumpkin. I don't really smell much pretzel, but I do get like the latte vibes. It does kind of smell like a like a pumpkin coffee type of thing. Um, it is a little spicy. It fits in the spicy category without being like Yankee candle kind of spicy, if that makes sense. So that's, woo! so that's what we're gonna make first. And then I'm going to make pumpkin souffle by Candle Science. If you want, when I'm testing these, because I'm doing this now, because I am going on vacation for essentially the whole month of July. So I'm bringing some candles with me to test. That way, when I get back, I can order everything that I want to order. Um, so yes, this is why I'm doing this. If you want, I can make another video talking about how the hot throw was. Um, let me know in the comments if that's something that you would be interested in. But this next scent is called Pumpkin Souffle. Again, I was on the hunt for pumpkin. And this one is more of a sweet pumpkin smell. I really like it. It has like a hint of cinnamon in it too. So it's like vaguely spicy without being like in your face kind of spicy um yeah and then let's see we also have this is also by the flaming candle um it's called caramel apple um this one smells like apple obviously it's more apple than caramel but you can smell the buttery elements of the caramel so it's fresh, but also warm. And I really enjoy that. So I hope it works because I do think people will love this one. And then we have one by the Flaming Candle again, and it's called Medusa's Elixir. Um, this one's kind of sweet. 
maybe like a little soapy, but in a good way. Uh, I, I really don't know how to describe this one, but it smells, it smells really good. So I'm gonna try that. Um, and then we have Cardamom and Cream by Candle Science. This one isn't necessarily like a fall scent, but I had an extra um, jar, so I was like, well, I'll just make this one. Because this would make a really beautiful candle for um, like, when you're ready to like, start winding down to go to bed. It has one of those like, sleepy candle scents, but it smells, it smells really good. It smells kind of luxurious as well. Um, Dupe Fragrances has something like this too, which I have. Um, I just don't have enough jars to make that as well. So I just decided to go with Candle Science um, just because. And then the last one is called Ghoulberry. And it just smells like berries. It smells like strawberry, raspberry, like a blackberry maybe. I don't really know why I chose this, except for the fact that it was called Ghoulberry and like Ghoul and Fall, Halloween, that kind of thing. Um, but I don't have any berry scents, so I figured this could be a really good one um, to add. And yeah, so that's the lineup. Um, let's just make some candles, okay? Also, I know that this video is kind of like all over the place. Um, I didn't initially think I was going to film this, but I just figured why not? I'm gonna be gone for a while and I need content. And you guys like watching people make candles. So that's what we're doing today. And for anyone that's curious, um, I use Inventora. It's loading. My internet's really slow right now. I use Inventora to um, track all of my supplies and like do product runs and like batches. So. That's what I'm using now. Okay, we're gonna start with pumpkin latte. I don't know why I chose the, to do them in this order, but it just feels right to me. So that's just how I'm gonna do it. Okay, so I need 0.39 ounces of oil. Oh no, I spilled it. I hate pouring out of these little one ounce testers. Um, because I just ended up spilling everything and I just spilled so much of it. 0.39, perfect. Okay, everything is so oily. I'm just gonna use, um, this little pitcher for today. Usually I started, uh, really liking my piston funnel, but because I'm only doing one candle of each scent, there's no point in having to clean out one of these and the piston funnel in between each scent. Um, because that just seems like a big waste of time. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna use this one and it'll be fine. Heat it up. So the reason I just um, took my heat gun to this is because it was really cold. And if you pour the hot wax into this, it'll just cool the wax down way too fast. And that's not what we want because we need it at 185. 4.93 ounces. I forgot to get my So I use this little um, spatula for frosting to mix my fragrances into my wax. Just cause I like the bigger surface area than, um, than like this little glass stick. This I just felt like added way too many air bubbles and this is perfect. And then my thermometer that I use, I just got, I got it for free from Uline because I ordered so much stuff um, and it works. Works really well, so yes, okay. Let's get into this. What do we need? Uh, 4.93, cool. So this temperature is a little cooler than I would like, but because we're working with such a small amount of wax, it'd just be too much of a pain to try to get it at temperature, so. I've done it before at this temperature. It just needs a little bit more mixing than usual, but it'll be fine. That's the downside to making like one candle at a time. Um, it's really hard to keep 
control of the temperature of your wax. Um, it just, I just find it things cool down too easily. I mean, I do have the air conditioning on in here, so that's also part of my fault. But um, just in general, the wax cools as it's being poured anyway, so yeah. And because it cools um, as it's you know pouring, I like to heat mine up to like 200. Um, and then that way I can let it cool down and come to 185 before I put my fragrance oil in. Um, if I do any less, it just cools down way too quickly and um, I'm unable to get that perfect temperature. I'm just gonna pour. Perfect. Okay, how am I gonna remember? Okay, I, I'm gonna move this over here and then I'm gonna put the oil here so then when I label it, I know which is which, okay. I'm sorry, the refrigerator's making a lot of weird noises and it weirded me out for a second, okay. Quick wipe out. It doesn't have to be perfect uh, when you wipe out your um, pictures because anything that's left over, any oil, it's not going to be enough to affect the scent of the next candle. So don't worry about it too much. Okay, so now who's next? Okay, let's do pumpkin souffle. That one. Oh, it just smells so good. Also, like also, it's gonna smell really funky in here because of all the different scents. So hopefully it's a good funky and not like a bad funky. Oops, okay. I only spilled a little bit of this one, so good for me. I'll just move all this stuff here. Okay. too quickly. Look how dark this oil is. I don't know if you can see, um, but it's very dark. So it'll be interesting to see what color it turns the candle. Um, I find that sometimes when it's a oil that's kind of dark, sometimes it won't do anything. And then sometimes like my um, Oh Honey candle, that one's like a honeysuckle and jasmine scent but that oil is really yellow. So it turns the wax kind of yellow too, which kind of works out because the label has yellow on it. So that, was, that worked out well in my favor. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see what color this candle turns out to be. Mm, it smells so good. It smells, it smells like something really familiar. I just don't know what it is. But it definitely smells buttery. It kind of smells like a version of my cinnamon, uh, not of my sugar and spice candle um, with the buttery notes. But if it were pumpkin, which I get, I mean, this is pumpkin, so that makes sense. Oh, I thought it was raining for a second, and then I realized I have um, <laughs> fall ambiance sounds going on my TV. So that just confused me for a second because I was like, it's actually starting to get a little sunny. Why is it raining? Um, but it's not raining, so trick me. Okay. This lip looks a little loose, so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that up very carefully, I might add. Let's see here. I don't know if this happens to anyone else, um, but sometimes I think the wicks are straight, but it's got a bit of a curve to it. So I'm gonna see if I can straighten that out, which is not gonna work for me, I don't think. Okay, well. Good enough. Okay, 
So that's two done, four to go. Next we have caramel apple. I wanna smell this one again. This one, the first two are kind of spicy and warm. Whereas like this is more of a fresh fall scent. Um, okay, so I would like to release some scents for Halloween, but here's my dilemma. Do I do it for the whole fall season or do I stop selling them after Halloween? You know? Cause this one is one that I would like to possibly have uh, for fall, but like caramel apples kind of have like a Halloween vibe. So I don't really know. You let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, okay. Mm, that one smells so good. Like I, I want to eat it. I won't, but I want to. Oh, I can only ever remember like one measurement. I keep remembering 0.39 for my oils, but I keep forgetting how much wax I put in there. Let's see here, 0.93, okay. Does anyone else stand on their tiptoes when like I'm this short, you know? But I always do that because I feel like I can see the scale better even though it's, it's not that much of a difference. Mm. Oh my god, that smells so good. Mm. Yeah, this one is definitely like fresh and buttery, which sounds kind of weird, but it smells really good. I don't know if you saw that, but all this wax just came flying out. Candle making is so messy. Like there's literally wax all over the floor and I keep thinking that like I clean it all up but there's always there's always pieces that you know get missed okay caramel apple done oh and I've had someone DM me um, about the amount of paper towels I go through saying it's not good for the environment which I agree um, but I would like to let you know that I use them as much as possible and then they get put into a box where uh, I collect them and then we use them as fire starters for our um, fire pit area and they work really well. So they're not fully um, going to waste and it keeps us from having to use like a gasoline or something to, you know, get the fire going. Um, so yeah, they're not, not being totally wasteful. There's just like, if you know any other way to get all your stuff clean um, without using paper towel, let me know. Cause it's not like you can use a regular towel and then wash it because wax. Um, yeah, let me know. Next. We have Medusa's Elixir. I really wish I could find a way, actually, let me, let me look it up. Um, the fragrance notes of this one. Cause I, I don't know how to describe it. Okay, so the Flaming Candle, um, I'm on their website. The top notes, my voice is cracked. <laughs> um, the top notes are lemon zest, nutmeg, orange zest, and red fruits. Middle is caramel apple whipped vanilla, and base is sugar crystals and velvet musk. So it's kind of like, it's a little bit of a complex smell, but it smells really good. It's just, there's just a lot in there. Um, but yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Where's the lid? Here it is. Oh, um, when I get back from my trip, um, we're going to reorganize things in this room so I have a new spot to make candles that works better for me. Um, this is just like, it's not really working for me. So um, we will be filming on the other side of the room and hopefully I'll have more space. Things will be laid out nicer and hopefully that means you watching these videos can have a better view of what I'm doing so my back isn't always turned to you. Um, mostly be filming from like the side, so that will be fun. Um, 
for a second. Hmm, okay. For a second I got like cigarette vibes and I was like, mm, I, don't, I don't think I like that. Um, but it was just a split second. So this one will be really interesting to see how it smells like what the hot throw is like because if it smells like cigarettes, I don't think I'm gonna sell that one, you know? Have any of you had any fragrances that like from the bottle they smelled amazing and then as you, like the hot throw when you finally tested them, smelled horrible? Um, like if the smell just like seemed completely different? Let me know in the comments. Um, I think that could be a really fun uh, thing to know, you know? A nice little warning to everybody. Okay, smelling this one, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I feel like I'm getting a little bit of a headache which is not good because I, I pride myself on selling uh, headache-free candles. So I don't know if I can use this one. Again, it'll depend on what the hot pro is like, but right now, just smelling it, I'm getting a wee bit of a headache. That one is done. Only two more. All right. Give this a good wipe down. One thing I really like about using these smaller pitchers compared to like the larger pitcher, like this one, or my piston funnel, is that I burn myself less on this one for some reason. Um, on the piston funnel, I feel like I burn myself every time I use it, um, which is not ideal considering burns hurt um so yeah so that's why i enjoy using the smaller ones i feel like they cool down faster i don't know but yeah anyone else like these the best just me i don't know we have let's do cardamom and cream this one oh it just smells like luxury if you want like a really pretty warm scent that's not masculine or feminine, it's very neutral. Cardamom and cream is beautiful. This one is also very dark and seems kind of thick. Yeah, this one seems kind of thick, which is different. Mix, mix, mix. I think this might be one of my new favorite scents. Um, if it smells like this in a hot throw, I will be using it. Um, I don't know what I would call it. I just thought of something, but I'm not gonna say it. It'll be a secret. Loose. Does anyone else have issues with these little things being loose? It's so annoying. Like, stop that. Last one. Okay, so next. Okay, what's going on with this jar? It's freaking me out. Oh. Does anyone? Okay, so from a certain angle, it looks like um, my wick has come uh, like off of the bottom of the jar, but it's just because the bottom of the jars are a little like concaved. So it like the optical illusion gets me every time. Okay, next is Ghoulberry. This one just smells so good. There's a bug. This one just smells so nice and it's like, Smells like berries, obviously, but it's also kind of sweet, like almost gives like strawberries and cream, but with other berries, you know, like berries and cream. But I'm not a little lad who likes berries and cream. If you know what that's from, good for you. If you don't know what that's from, um, that just, shows that I'm old. Um, now I have that, that little jingle stuck in my head. If you don't know what that's from, just Google 
I'm a little lad who likes berries and cream. You're welcome, it'll get stuck in your head. One more tip that I will give you is, well, I mean, for my oils, I use glass beakers. I just find them easier to clean. They don't stain, they won't hold on to scent. Um, but make sure you get a lot of them. Like, when you're doing multiple scents like this, it can be really annoying to have to stop and clean out your pouring things. Um, so that's just something I like to do all at once at the end. So I really only have six, but I will be purchasing a few more sets of these because they are just incredibly handy. And it's also good for when you're having, um, like when you're doing a batch of maybe you have, you know, like three mini tins, a bunch of eight ounces and six ounces, you need different sizes. So this set, I have it linked below. Everything I use, I have a link for it below, um, just in case you were wondering. And if I don't have it linked for some reason, let me know in the comments and I will send you the link and then make sure it's linked from then on. Okay, last one. And honestly, with all these different scents going, it doesn't smell that crazy in here. It actually smells pretty good. I think once I like go outside and come back in, it might smell a little bit crazy, but honestly, right now I just feel really cozy and I wish all the leaves were like orange and red. Um, and yeah, I don't really like summer. Is it, does anyone else like summer? Like, is it just me? But I just find like, I don't like the heat. Fall is the best season. Let me know what your favorite season is in the comments, okay? Okay, I put way too much in there. Mm, it smells so good. So yeah, let me know if you would like a video of, um, you know, what the hot throw is for these. Because I don't know, maybe you're looking for some new fall scents and, you know, I can help you out with that. Um, yeah, I feel like there's a good mix in here like we've got like fruity we have sweet we have spicy we have buttery um one that's warm so i feel like there's a scent here for everyone there's no floral in this but in my um regular fall range i do have some outdoorsy scents so i'll just pour this one so yeah um thanks for watching this video um, if you want more candle making videos, I'll leave them on either side. And if you're new here and you want to subscribe, go for it. Um, and I will see you in the next video. And hopefully that's me trying these candles. So yeah. Okay. See ya. Bye.